Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Zowie Dar or Chaos Dwarf playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2, where things are going reasonably well. We've started expanding out of our start area now and chaosizing, <laughs> corrupting the areas around us. Um, gonna pop into up here next, actually, through Karakazel and Karak 8 Peaks, just to get ourselves some more territory. Then we're gonna start poking the green skin fret. Well, they, they control all the Dowie holds, so we are gonna kind of grab all the Dowie holds off them, at least to start with. Anyway, or at least that is the plan. Slowly building this force up at the moment, getting two mortars, two hell cannons, and a really shiny, nice all around force. Um, a siege giant there. I want two Kadai destroyers in there as well. Uh, uh, people have been telling me magma cannons are great for destroying walls. I may get a magma cannon as well. We'll see. Hmm. Two Kadai Destroyers, two Kadai Fireborn as my effectively cavalry. And you are joining, so we don't have room for a Magma Cannon. Let's just have a look, so... <clears throat> Let us have a play here. So that does more damage. No, it doesn't. Um, I'm tempted to get a Magma Cannon instead of one of them. Let's do it. Magma Cannon instead of one of those, just so we've got a nice mix of different things. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go for two Hell Cannons rather than just Magma Cannons, because while Hell Cannons are lovely, um, we've already got the artillery pieces, so that gives us a nice variation there. Uh, we've leveled up. I don't need Immortality, because he's already immortal. Hmm... To be fair, I'm going to go for the growth. I want to push him, push these guys down to lightning strike, if I'm honest. So, yeah. Slowly, slowly. Oh, you could be immortal, however. I probably want to save up for that. Don't use most of these units. So, I know people have been telling me I should be using slaves more, but I just don't use them. I've got better units. I'm not exactly struggling. So, yeah. I'm going to jump onto that, but... um. We're going to save, maybe save up a bit. Because actually in a couple of turns we should be able to afford that easily, he says. Unless he spends all his goddamn money. No, I want overall income improvements, to be fair. Are probably going to do us more good. Uh, I can afford to get rid of that. I don't need quite so many... Chaos corruption thing buildings here now. There we go. Um, there we go. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, so, yeah, let us keep going here. Sorry, I'm being pestered because my, my daughter's trying to sort out her phone. <laughs> Sorry if I went a little quiet there for a second. Um, yeah, one more turn on that army being sorted. Hmm. Just trying to work out what I want to do. See, I could push out some of these big things here as well. Don't have as much recruitment. Distraction for all. Right. Two magma cannons in there. 
That'll do, that gives me a nice solid thing. I've got these guys as my cavalry, instead of my cavalry. Um, and I've got a Lamassu as well. So that's still a very nice force. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. He says about not spending money and then he goes and spends money. Shh. Stop it. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> um... There we go. Right. Should slowly get there. Slowly, slowly pushing through here. Ooh, um, the Ugma tribe are trespassing against those monsters. So I have uh, massively lowered my uh, income at the moment, actually. So maybe I did mess up a bit there, but. It's time. Ooh. So we've got them trespassing against us here. That's not too worrying. Um, I'm going to hold there for the moment. No. I don't see why I want an aggression pact. I would, I've, I've obviously pieced out with him. He's over there, but yeah. And we've got the Fermir Swamps over there, which are interesting. They are, are probably somebody I actually want to be friends with because they are another Servant of Chaos, so that's good. We've got a Trollish Force coming down towards us, which I will potentially be taking on. Um... But I'm in no rush. This is one of my best buildings because it just generates so much money. Let's actually have a look if anybody will trade with us. Are you ready? <laughs> no. Long run, I might be able to trade with me. I am going to save up for now a few turns with hitting settlements and things. We should get that 20k relatively quickly. Um, and then unlock the next set of my bit of my tech tree. The corruption around here is beautiful, um, which does help us massively. Obviously, we do have oh, Clan Moors down there. Not, I thought that was um, a bit surprised I can see them. I think I get the ability to see everybody with these guys for some reason, which I'm not sure is correct, but I'm not going to complain too much about. Strategic location, a building for the Chaos Dwarves. A lot of these places actually do, so. Uh, Chaos Dwarves. Yep. Yeah. I want to know what some of these special buildings are. Some of them will just be the standard special buildings, but you do get extra special buildings uh, in places by being the Chaos Dwarves as well. So, as we've seen, I imagine, I, I would hope they've done Chaos Dwarf variants. Though, if they haven't, that's fine, because the amount of work this mod has already done is huge. I mean, all of the OVN Lost Faction stuff is amazing, guys, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah. Hmm... So we can hit the Ugma tri tribe, uh, burn them out, and then position ourselves and take the eight peaks after that. Destruction for all. I need 50% remaining to adopt that. I'm not going to, I'm just going to go straight at them. Down here, however. Yes. Raiding camp, lots of extra lovely slaves, lots of extra lovely income. So my corruption is dropping off in some of these places, which is something I potentially want to be a little careful of, but it'll find a nice equilibrium. The islands are horrible because they don't have uh, the natural flow of chaos around the place from other places. It doesn't get as much osmosis, so...
Hmm. The Doom Tide. Good, good, good. No. Oh, I am technically at war with them, actually, so maybe. Want to sit nicely in the middle while I raid. It's time. Rathark the Unbreakable. What does he get? He doesn't get a mount because he is makes sense for him. Mage Bane. Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh. Is it time? It is time. This is potentially suicide, but um, I'm going to fight this because I want to because I want to see what their units are like. Um, lots of trolls. Unsurprisingly, the troll force is made up of trolls. Um, and actually, I don't have too much anti-large here. This is where having some of the anti-large units would have been beautiful. However, because they're all trolls and they're all large, my devastators can shoot them quite happily from behind my lines. So. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, we want to see what the siege giant looks like. <laughs> wow! Yeah. His leadership is grey. He's basically just. A slightly better version. And he's... Oh, he can attack walls in melee. Oh, so he can literally tear walls down as well. Hmm. Yeah, some of these units it doesn't quite get the uh, wit right for. Hang on. Let's group that, however, so that they actually uh, spawn in the way I want them to. God's bloody glory. I am the god. For the chaos god. You guys can sit out on this flank. There we go. There we go. He does look quite funky. He's fairly similar to them, just with slightly cooler armour. These have very short range. That is their negative. Um, that's probably actually why I'm... Maybe I should have gone for a Hell Cannon. I'm not a fan of this short range, actually. That said, you can see the damage they're already doing. My magic is Vile trolls! Let's look at these trollish forces coming through. Ooh, they look cool. They're yetis. So our lines have been hit, our guns are engaging. Chaos 
I should have had these further forwards, to be fair. Oh, we've caught them. Oops. Right. Turn these guys. I'm not a fan of them. If I'm honest, I've definitely decided I'm not a fan of them. They're just too random. They, they do too much damage to my own units by accident, effectively. Oh, God. Not as much as this is going to do. Jeez. That was a nice solid victory. No, I'm not a huge fan of the magma cannons. I mean, while people have said they melt walls, they're also their range is a bit crap. Um, so I'm probably going to replace them with hell cannons. Um, oh, the fact these guys are already at max level is insane. For now, I will keep them. They, don't get me wrong, they're good. They do a hell of a lot of damage to units. But eh, I say that they did nothing there. They were barely worth Then again, we were playing against trolls, which are high level enemy units. So, yeah. Maybe it's the wrong faction to be judging them against. Um, I mean, I'm not going to swap them out yet because I'm at war. I'm in quite a major war. I can't afford to be spending time swapping units. Um, I love the idea of a siege giant which can rip down walls. Just, yeah, just walk up to the wall and start punching. Pledge to the Dark Gods. A dung heap. Um, which is actually good for me. For some reason. Befouled workshop of Karak Azul. Uh, 300. No. I'm going to burn that down for now. Uh, iron hearts. Vigor loss reduction. That is actually lovely. And you, my mage, can get the burning head. They will be dominated. You have my favor. Yes, it is so. Oh, there's a Chaos Force here to go into Karak Asgul first. Oh, the Ogma tribe, not me. Yeah, we have thrown ourselves into a fairly large war here. But the question is, can I soak it? And hopefully the answer is yes, we can. <laughs> Oh. Oh, Skaven scum! I am not going to war with them as well. Uh, they have snuck in behind us and grabbed something. Uh, but the fact they are involved in wars around here is also good. Um, this is going to be... This is a risky war. I have gone to war with a lot of people at once. So don't get me wrong. There is chances I may take losses. Um... I may lose, but what's life without fun? This is wise. I kind of have to go through them to get to where I want to go. Right, going straight in here, doing a cheeky save beforehand. 
this is where we're going to find out just how good these magma cannons are at melting walls, which is what people have told me they are brilliant at. I'm not sure I believe it because their range is so goddamn short, but we will, we shall see what we shall see. There is not a huge garrison here. We are going to go, we are going to cut through this place. Uh, my devastators will be a bit rubbish here because they're gunpowder units. Right, you two can go there. You guys are inevitably going to push straight forwards. Chaos Sorcerer! Chaos Warrior! All of you guys. Including you two can just move forwards. Melt that wall and you can drop a shell onto them. Oh, it's good. Okay, I, I, I will get it. That that did melt the wall fairly quickly. Let's start burning down those towers. It's time to just march through. We have absolutely no need of subtlety here. Let's start shredding up here. I don't need to be taking out anything on the walls now. We've, we've got this. Let's just aim at them. This thing is just nuts. The damage it does when it hits things is insane. I am I mean, I'm barely being aggressive here. This is the funny thing. Drop a shell on that, please. To be fair, I'm literally going to keep this off fire at will and choose exactly where and when I shoot. It's over. issue with this is it's god damn reload time Chaos oh god fall back fall back fall back fall back fall back oh god Very good. 
So actually, I didn't even hit him. It's melee time. Sorry, it's, it's ridiculously unsubtle time here to just have some fun. Let's go deal with them before they actually do too much damage to my uh, array of units. They can literally have something spawn in the middle of them. It's over. Nice, easy victory to be fair. While I was... Uh, it was a messy battle, but it was an easy battle. If you see what I mean. That mortar, 105 kills, <laughs> good god. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I need to pay a bit more attention to my artillery with these guys. What they miss, what I would really wish they had something is something like the um, Dwarven. Oh, what's it called? Or the, the gun, which just does repeated fires. It's, it's definitely a gun. Um, oh, what's it called? The organ gun style thing. Which they don't seem to have. It's all grand scale explosiveness. Which is awesome, but... Yeah. We shall see what we shall see. Obviously going to subjugate and enslave. Yeah, I think we want the diamonds. I want the walls. And I want all the lovely corruption. There we go. Hmm. Swelling of doom. Oh, he gets multiples. A bit more income from raiding. And you... Now you are immortal and are doing all the corruption spreading we can. Let's up your flame storm. Destruction for all. Here we go, ah. Oh, bull centaurs, buffs, infernal, I guess better lords, buffs infernal guards, which I'm already not using. Yeah, a lot of units I'm not using at the moment. Ah, no, 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 no. There we go, that's probably the best one there. It takes a while, but we'll get there. More corruption. <laughs> oh, we've got a chaos rising in my own territory again. Let's do that. That's probably the army I just pushed back. Um, yeah, for now, they can have a non-aggression pact. I'm not overly, overly worried. If they push this way too much, they are going to get covered in all the right sorts of corruption. So, yeah. We are going to smash the orc, the orc threat back. Corrupt their lands, bring the corruption to this, the chaos. Yeah, you can have a non-aggression back. I'm not going to say it's corruption, because it's not corruption. The, 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 uh, the chaos favour to the land. <laughs> yes, I ruin us I mean, I, I wanted some more Chaos Slaves, so that's all good. 
Let's be about this. All the corruption, please. I'm going to make a jump for Spike Peak quickly, then we'll push back up. Oh, assuming the Skaven don't get it. do for now not seen anything from the uh, orcs yet as I said I'm <sighs> I've messed up by letting the Skaven get in here but at the same time I'm not overly worried by them because let's be honest they are obviously a weak faction compared to me um, quite weak compared to me and yeah um, they're just going to have to deal with constant corruption issues, so they may even lose the settlements. Ready. I Distraction for all. Hail the slaughter. Nice. And that, guys, is where we're going to leave it for today. So, a nice big chunk of expansion. We've started the big wall. There are some orcs behind me, technically, but I'm not too worried by that. Uh, we're going to keep pushing north. Um, obviously, going to jump over here to get here. And then we're going to uh, convene on the eight peaks to bring that under our, under our domain. And just keep the push north going. Um, yeah, the fact that the greenskins don't hold everything over here is also quite good. That's all for next time, however, guys. As always, though, thank you for watching. If you are enjoying this playthrough, please do like and subscribe, guys. Um, other than that, as always, a massive thank you to my patrons. Link to my Patreon down below in the description. Or you can hit join here on YouTube. Does the exact same thing through YouTube. It really does help the channel, guys. Anything like that. So please do consider it. But as far as I'm concerned, everybody who watches is awesome. Cheers, all.